Today we're going to be taking a closer look to the Reach View 3's replacement, the Imlid Flow app, and we're going to be serving using the Imlid Reach RX GNSS receiver. At the end of this video, I'm going to be announcing the winner of the Reach RX giveaway, so make sure you stick around till the end to find out who won. Now the Imlid Flow app is the new data collection app for all Imlid GNSS receivers. It's available for free in the App Store. I've got it downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Now I'm going to power on my GNSS receiver. Okay, there we go. And I can simply refresh the app and there it is, the RX shows up and I can connect to the RX. Now my corrections are coming through in trip and I've already got a fixed reading on my receiver. Now today I'm going to show you how to set up a job and collect data using Imlid Flow. And we're going to be serving the small section of sidewalk here at the park. Once you've connected everything, you can select survey and click the little plus sign. Here I'll be able to name my project. So I'll call this park survey. The author, I'll just put my name and the description. I can put whatever I want. So we'll do sidewalk topo. Okay, now under code library, I can select this option. And if you have the survey plan, you'd be able to access a code library. This will allow you to do points and line work within your project. So you can set up your own custom code or you can use the provided Imlid library. So here are all the codes inside of the Imlid library. I'll go back and I'll just select it. And here I can enter my coordinate system information. So I'm in Michigan, so I will use NED83 Michigan South Zone and I will use NAVD88 for my height. Everything looks good here, so I'll hit save. And there we go, we have our project. Now I can also load in an aerial map, which is really nice because now I can see where I am. It's much clearer than using a standard map. So I'm going to adjust my height so that it's at 1.8 meters. Now if I press this little plus sign, I can now start to add a point. The first point I wanna add will be over here and it's going to be the start of the sidewalk. So point number one, that's fine. And I'm gonna change this code to asphalt payment. So asphalt payment, okay, this is the first line. I'll get my ball in the center and I will save. All right, this point has been saved. I'll come down a little bit and I'll take another shot. This will be point number two. Okay, good, take another shot here. Okay, keep going. Take one here, save. Okay, now I see I do have a tree right here, so I can come over to the code list and change this over to tree. And now I can select tree, and this will be a single point. So zooming in here, I can actually see where the line was created for the asphalt, and now this is going to be a single point for the tree. Hold up against the tree, and save. Okay, good. So now I wanna go back to doing asphalt, so I'll go to the continue tab, and I'll select asphalt one. Okay, and now let's keep going. Go ahead and save. Looks like we got another tree right here, so I'll just switch over to tree. Learn how to spell tree. <laughs> tree. Okay, and save. Perfect, switch back to asphalt one. Go ahead and save. We'll stick it right here, save. And we'll take one more shot right here, save. All right, perfect. Now I wanna to go to the other side, and on the other side, I don't wanna use the same asphalt line. I'm going to switch over to a new asphalt line. So by tapping on this, I can now select asphalt pavement, and it will now select a second asphalt pavement line. So if I come over here and I save, now I've got a new line that does not connect with that line. So we'll come over here now, down over here, we'll do another one, save. Okay, we'll do the next one here, and save, perfect. Hey look, a tree. Let's go take this tree. Switch to a tree, okay, and save. Keep going with this asphalt line. So I'll go to continue and select the second one, and we will save. Okay, another one right here, save. Good, keep going. And we'll do one right here. Good, I'm gonna move the map so that it updates with me. Let's take one here next to the tree. Perfect, now we can switch our code over to tree and save. Perfect. Now I'm done with this asphalt line. I'm gonna start a new line over there. So right here, this will be asphalt pavement three. Plumb up our rod and save. Take a point here. I'll do another one over here. And we'll do one right here. And just to the right of me, kind of hard to see off camera, is a tree. <laughs> tree. Save. Save. Save, switch over to tree, back to asphalt three, save, save, and save. All right, nice. Now we got a catch basin down over there, so let's go ahead and measure that. Catch 
basin, there it is. And I'm just gonna measure the top of it and save. Perfect. Now the only thing left to survey is that center around the sidewalk and those two trees. Let's go knock those out. So this will be asphalt pavement four. And we'll save. And save. Save. All right, and then we'll call this one tree, save, one more tree, and save. All right, that's it. If I go back here, I can see all of the line work that came in, all of the points that we measured, and we have an entire project here that we've completed on Imlid Flow. So opening up this menu here, I can select my export and see the different options I have. Of course, as a CSV, I can export the coordinates of all the points, but I also have a DXF and shapefile option, which would allow me to import all of this data either into AutoCAD Civil 3D or into ArcGIS. This is great because now I can incorporate the line work that I've created into my CAD projects. So now that we've collected data using Imlet Flow on our phones, let's take a look at this data on Imlet Flow 360, the computer application. Okay, Imlet Flow 360 is a web application that allows you to go through different projects and manage all of the data on your computer. You can also come over to the code libraries and create new codes here and send everything automatically through the cloud to your mobile app on your phone. So for the first project that we did in the last video, we had shot that one point, that control point, and I can see here it is. If I go back to what we just did today, here are all the points that we collected for this project. As you can see, we have all of the different asphalt lines, the trees, the catch basin on the side here. Everything came in really, really nice, and I'm really happy with how it all turned out. I can even go into individual points and find out more information about the metadata. So here I will select this tree up here, and I can see all of the coordinates, the antenna height, when the point was collected, how many samples of the points, and all this great information is on display for me to use. You can also see on the left side where it says objects, we have the line work for the different asphalt lines. And if I open this up, I can see all of the vertices for the asphalt line. Very good, I like that. Now let's say I have some additional data I wanna add in. I can always add objects by going up to the top here and selecting the plus sign. I'll be given a point number, I can add a description, and then I can add the coordinates either lat long, or if I switch over to local, I can add in my state plane coordinates and create the point. If I wanted to import an entire data set from like a CSV file, I can click on import and select what I wanna import. I can even import a DXF or a shape file, so if I was working on something in Civil 3D, for example, I can bring it into Imlet Flow, and then I can stake it out in the field if I ever wanted to, using my GNSS receiver. And of course, exporting data. This is probably the most important and the most utilized tool that you'll have using Imlet Flow 360. By selecting export, I have the same export options as I did on my phone, but the nice thing is this will automatically make it to my computer and I can just use this data in different applications. If you'd like to learn more about Imlet Flow, then check out the link in the description. Overall, I think Imlet Flow is a great upgrade from the ReachView 3 app. There's a lot of great functionality and the connectivity between mobile phone and computer makes the process so much more convenient, and I think it's gonna provide more value for your Imlid Reach receivers. So I know everybody wants to know who won the Imlid Reach RX. Now there was over 500 comments over on Instagram, and because I'm only giving one receiver away, the chances of winning are quite slim. However, that doesn't mean I don't value all of you. Reading your comments made me realize just how diverse this audience is, from students to professionals to academics, people from all over the world. You guys are incredible. I'm so blessed to have this community, and I value all of you. This giveaway is merely my appreciation for you, and I mean it for everybody. I know only one person is going to win this receiver, but I do appreciate everyone that entered and I wish all of you the best success and luck in this industry. And I hope to continue to provide you educational content to help you with your career. With that being said, the winner of the giveaway is Daryl McCall Sr. I got to learn a little bit more about Daryl's story and his views on the industry. I started working with the city of Greensboro here in North Carolina about 17 years ago. I was at school at uh, North Carolina A&T uh, in engineering and uh, that's how I kind of found out 
about surveying, because I really didn't know what surveying was. You know, go out, play in the woods, that type of thing. I'm just an old country boy myself anyway. So, and I took the FE and the FS, finally the state bus specifically, they actually even passed it up this past August. So, I was That's able awesome. to uh, start my business this past August again. Starting with very crude, uh, uh, it's, like I said, an old, old, old station. It's just me and my boy. Um, just getting it going, just going out to get it. But that's pretty much where we, uh, I guess in a nutshell from the beginning to where I am now. Daryl is a surveyor that just recently got his license in North Carolina. He started his own business that his son helps him with. And his story hit home for me because that's how I got into surveying. My father started his own business when I was a teenager and he exposed me to this wonderful industry that is now my entire career. And to see surveyors like Daryl bringing his son into the industry is truly inspiring. People don't think about surveying, people don't think about geomatics, they don't think about the education side of it. And uh, it's one of those things that was, on the verge of being lost. Congrats, Daryl, and thank you to everyone that entered. It truly means a lot to me. I hope to continue to serve and make great content for you. I'll see you guys next time.